What's going on? My name is Kyle here. It's AKA Racer Night 99, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to uh, NASCAR 14 West Play. So we're in race number 22, the 36 of the NASCAR 14 season West Play. We're here in Watkins Glen International Road Course, run up of the Cheez It 355. I decided to qualify dead west, but that's okay. But it's going to be a long race, the road course race once again. The last time we got the win in the road course it was back in Sonoma. So can we get the win in the road course once again? We're about to find out. Also, can we go for five in a row wins and 20th win of the NASCAR 14 West play? We're about to find out. So let's go racing here at Watkins Glen. Alrighty, so Brad Keswalski starts on the pole. I qualified dead last. It's a long race by the way, so hopefully we got a good race car. So can we go for five in a row wins and also could this be a 20th win of the NASCAR 14 West play? We're about to find out. So the pace car is off. We're ready to go racing here at the road course once again. We're racing here in the Cheez-It 355 at Watkins Glen. The green flag racing here at the Glen. Boy, try to hard on the brakes on the first turn. Almost got turned by the 34, David Reagan. All right, going into the the first chicane for the first time. Hopefully we can get around the 17. Yep, there I go. I'm on the outside. Ricky Stenhouse on the inside. Oh, a little contact there. I'm up to 27th, but... Coming off the final turn. Craig Biffle is going to lead the first lap here at the Gwen. I'm moving up pretty good right now, trying to get to the top 25. I'm up to 26. So we got eight laps to go here at the Gwen. I don't know. Hopefully soon we're probably we're going to get the pit road or not, but if we can make it on fuel. But last race in, um, in Indianapolis, oh man, what a crazy race, by the way. We got the win at the Brickyard last race. Well, actually, last race was Pocono, by the way. I think it was last race, neither in Indianapolis or Pocono, because back in the Pocono race, I ran out of gas, I grabbed the checker flag. I think it was Pocono last race, but but that's okay. Oh, boy. Ain't on. Ooh, car's a little bit tight. Yep, car's kind of tight. So you probably know this car is going to be very tight right now in this race, but that's okay. But Trying to get a good run to get back to the top 25 over Trevor Bain, the Daytona 500 champion in 2011. Seven laps to go here at the Gwen. Trying to get back where we were. Trying, I was trying to pass Kyle Larson for 22nd, but I got a little loose when we got in into the chicane. Ooh, I got a great huge run. Ooh, 
Oh man. Trying to get around Kyle Larson. There we go. Now we're catching up Austin Dillon and Joy Logano. Oh man. Can I say hopefully very soon we're gonna come down the pit road to get some fresh tires and feel Got six laps to go here at the Gwen. Ooh, got a good run on Austin Dillon. In, I'm in the top 20. Now we're catching up Carl Edwards for 19th. Yep, we're probably we're gonna come to pit road very soon. Oh, this car is very tight. Up on the outside, contact me and my teammate Dale Jr. I'm up the 18th. Yeah, we're probably we're gonna come down pit road very soon. I'm probably, you know what? I might do fuel only. By the way, besides tires, we'll, we'll be okay with tires. So it's up to me when we come down the pit road very soon. Or maybe took two tires. We'll see how it goes, by the way. We're going to come to pit roll soon. Oh, boy. Jimmy McMurray, hang on. Man, this car's tight. Oh, sorry, Jimmy McMurray. Yeah, we're going to come to pit road. So, we're in 14th right now. So, we're going to come to pit road. We don't think we're not going to make it on fuel. So, we're going to come to pit road right now. There we go. We're, we're going to do two, uh, two left side tires. We're going to do fuel. We're going to do fuel. No repairs. We're actually pretty good. So, we're going to do... Two left side tires, and also we're going to do fuel. The right sides, we're good on right sides. We're going to do left side tires, and then we're going to do fuel. So, all right. Coming to pit stop. Here we go. We'll get a little bit of damage on the left side of the car, by the way. Oh, we'll so stop. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's not bad. But... Alrighty, now trying to get the Denny Ham one. Let's see if we could get the good run on Denny Ham one. There we go. Yes. Mark Marcos Ambrose is still in the lead right now, so
Three laps to go here at the Glen. A little hard on the brakes. Tony Stewart's up there, Brad Keselowski, Craig Biffle. Look at a huge run I have on the outside. This is going to be a battle for the race win right here, Craig Biffle and Brad Keselowski. We got a good run. For Brad Keselowski, now I'm trying to catch up Craig Biffle. This is for the race for the lead right there. Oh, car hit the apron there. Contact's made. Biffle's still in front. Here comes Brad Keselowski. Two laps to go here at the Gwen. I gotta say, this is gonna be a battle for the race win. Biffle and Kiswowski, one and two. I'm in third. Oh, I got a good corner right there. Here I come on the inside. Here come the, into, the, into the chicane right there. Ooh, I got a good corner right there. Here I come. A huge run on the inside. To the lead here at the Glen. Now, the question will be, could I have a chance to go for five in a row? We're about to find out. Here we come to the white flag. One lap to go here at the Glen. Final lap. Gotta say, qualified dead last and to the lead here at the Gwen. Trying to get around Michael and now. There we go. Trying to get to into the chicane one last final time. Gotta say, what a great, fantastic race car, by the way. I decided to take left side tires only and, and fuel. The car's been doing great so far, by the way. Here we come on the final turn. And this is going to be Five in a row wins and 20th win of the NASCAR 14 season West play. Dead last to the win at the Gwen. How about that? Gotta say, what a good race car, by the way. Fast race car qualified dead last and now and to the win here at the Gwen. I thought it was gonna be I thought it was gonna be like a three-way battle for the race win with me and um, Brad Keswowski and Craig Biffle trying to do some burnouts. I try to do some burnouts. I can't do some burnouts. There we go. <laughs> trying to do some burnouts, and there we go. So anyway, um, we got the win here at the Gwen, five wins in a row, 20th win of the NASCAR 14 West play, and yes, I'm going to stop right here. So it's time to go to Victory Lane to celebrate five wins in a row and 20th win of the NASCAR 14 season West play. That was a lot of fun, by the way. That was a good battle. That was a good battle for the race win. I thought it was going to be a three-way battle, but my car was pretty fast. Qualified dead last and we got the win.
All right, we're going to take a look at the results. So, and let's see what the next race is going to be. So, I get the win here at Watkins Glen. Craig Biffle finishing second. Brad Kozlowski third. Tony Stewart fourth. We're going to run out the top five. It's Marcos Ambrose. And we're going to see what the next race is going to be. We're right back. So, the next race is going to be for race number 23 to 36. It's going to be Michigan International Speedway for the Pure Michigan 400. So, guys... Hope you guys enjoyed this video, by the way. Hit the like and subscribe button. Click the bell in case you turn it on. We are on the road to 4,000 subscribers. Subscribe to my second channel, Racer Night 99 the second. See you guys next time. Have an amazing, awesome day.